Hey guys, this is Home Cell Defense with Tom and Bob, no Preston today. And today we're gonna start a little bit of an introduction to our online beginners course, in which we're gonna break all the techniques that we have shown with Preston in our presentation. You can actually learn much from that presentation, I know, because techniques are being performed too fast and that will be too chaotic and uh, lots of material. And we've done 90 minutes, we're supposed to do 45, so really apologize for that. Okay, so within those modules that we do here, every and each technique is gonna be broke into single moves that you're gonna memorize and eventual fuck ups, because fuck ups happens. Not every technique is clear as you want to be, so we need a backup plan just in case that technique is gonna fail. Because uh, what we want in Krav Maga, really, guys, commercial Krav Maga, what it does, that offers you a loads of loads of weapons are really flashy and fancy, but then doesn't really protect you from chaos. Okay, it's really staged and choreographed. While you know what the real attacker do, mental bear hook and do, do different shit to you. Okay, so again, what we're gonna offer to you is simple technique from every chaotic situation that might happen to you and. That's gonna be your approach. Just embrace the chaos instead of just waiting for perfect clean technique to happen, right? Because I was starting my training years, years ago. I was kind of annoyed about not being able to to apply a proper knife grab within 90 minutes of a training. And my friend told me that this situation might never happen to you. You might have to work it out. Okay? So don't get annoyed. Just be happy, you don't really have to trap that knife and rely on that trap, because that trap will fail anyway, okay? So, so guys, really, what we show you is just the, it's just like a, like a basics, okay? It's just, just the tips, it's like, a, it's like a, something that you can develop on your own, okay? Because in the most, again, of the commercial places, everyone is just narrowed. Mine, my, my technique is the best. The other is shit, this is shit, the other is shit. Yet we all go from the same source, from Oim Lichtenfeld's Krav Maga that was created for communities to protect them. Okay, so starting now, what I'm gonna show you is a, just a simple stance, because we've shown the stance uh, with, uh, with Preston, a little bit of it, but then it's really, really important thing, and it's, it comes to your stance being the first, very, very first move that you're gonna do in any dodgy situation, okay? so. Really guys, you can't just stand like that, or like that, okay? And just go back, no, it's purely impossible. That's when you are fucked already, at the very, very start, okay? So, whatever happens, dodgy situation, someone is approaching you, you don't know his intentions, he might be smiling, but then he might be, or he might be smiling to Bob, and then you just, oh, just walk him, it just take a second and a bad intent to get hurt. And then your neck is soft, and then you often get killed with a surprise attack. Okay, so as someone is approaching you, okay, you have to remember about your personal space and your tripwire idea, okay? So, of course, everyone knows the idea of the personal space, right? So, this is my conversation distance with Bob if I don't know him, okay? And I'm gonna adapt the same distance every and each time I talk to stranger, okay? If Bob would be my best friend and I want to greet him on the street, we're gonna go, hello Bobby, okay? Or we're gonna try to, hey, how are you doing? And look what's going on. We are in the, in the distance to harm someone. But then because we know him, we adapt a friendly distance, okay? If you approach even someone you barely know, a coworker, uh, anyone that, you, as I said, you barely know, or better ask that you're gonna adapt that sort of a distance. Because this, this is way too personal, okay? And that comes the idea of a tripwire. Whoever cross that circle within my arm, my trip wire goes off, okay? Ultimately, automatically, I go into stance from this position. Just imagine a little square around you. You just step back, okay? I don't really like to have this back leg really straight as boxers do, okay? I mean, it's good for fast approach, but what I really like is have this leg a little bit on the angle, okay? And that's gonna be my firing pin for delivering very powerful right hand strike, okay? So, someone's approaching me, hands up, I say, how can I help you, okay? 
And guys, with hands up, okay, a bit of a stance, a bit of a confidence and awareness, okay? Because he might come from the angle. How can I help you, okay? And now, first thing happens. This kunt knows that he orientated on a very bad target because apparently I know something, okay? I have my stance, I have my hands up. He's most likely hands down being on cocky. So from this position, again, you, you can latch on his eyes already without even causing a harm, just for control. He's really persisting. Push him away. What are you doing, buddy? Okay? So, guys, it comes to simple idea of always, always, always having somehow your hands up if you are being approached. Okay? And now, look, those hands, they are not being stretched like that. No, we are not Frankenstein, no. Okay, they are bent, okay? They are not being too close to my face, so I'm not being struck, okay? Look, they kind of, my tombs making a little cross here, okay? My sides are protected from any attacks, and that's the beauty of a palm strike, okay? Because as I mentioned, if you want to swing at someone, you have to lift your elbow up, and that's your opening for a knife or any surprise attack into your, into your, uh, or liver or the spleen, okay? For the spleen. So, hands up, a bit of a cross here, knees bent a little bit, and believe me, guys, just, just be comfortable, don't tense, okay? We don't want to look aggressive, okay? We just want to either deter them or use subdiffusion to get out of the tricky situation, okay? And remember, guys, it always comes to your choice and your choice only, okay? If you don't feel like attack, right? What you do, put your hands up, okay? If you are on your own in a poop, shout, go away, stay back. That draws attention, okay? Now your attacker has all of the eyes from all of the people in the poop on him, and he has to drop the idea and either fuck off or reorientate on, on someone else. So believe me, guys, this stance has up, go away, stay back. It's easily enough to deter most of the tricky situations uh, in a poop, uh, in a crowded places, okay? Now, when it comes to a one-on-one -on -one tricky situation alone in the car park, guys, deterrence and soup diffusion, H your thing, okay? Straight away as he comes, hands up and go too fast. Do harm, clean. Don't wait, because you're not gonna deter someone who's trying to attack you in the dark place, because his intent is clean, okay? In the poop, he might be so-so, maybe he's orientating, okay? But there, in the car park, he's orientated, and he's decided, and he's acting. So it's way too far, okay? So, And now, guys, when it comes to subdiffusion methods, it's kind of a fancy word for a simple distraction for, for any action that you want to undertake. Okay, so again, poop situation, someone is approaching me, it's a crowded place, right? He's trying to do anything that you really don't like, touch you or, or harm you in any how, okay? Hands up, of course, and all that. But then just by tipping the glass with a beer on the floor, okay? You've just created distraction. And now again, everyone is just looking what's going on. All eyes on us, okay? If there is no all eyes on us, I drop the glass, he looks down, oh, palm strike comes in. Okay, so you can use the turns and slip diffusion for two things. Either to create, uh, create attention around the crowd and count that someone is gonna help you, which is good. But then again, you can use it easily to create distraction and counter-attack. Now guys, another simple tricky idea of a, of a subdiffusion sub distraction for your attacker would be, as you are in your stance, as you are ready to strike, you always look in his eyes because the intent is always there. Before he makes any moves, the intent jumps, jumps into the eyes, believe me guys. You can, you, can make, you can make pretty much everything out of his, out of his gaze when it comes to 
drop or attack or any surprise attack or anything like that. Believe me, guys, the intent is just right there. Okay, so. So guys, another method of a soup diffusion, okay, would be simple gaze behind your opponent's arm. I mean, usually what you do, of course, you look at him, right? You look at him, you make eye contact, I mean, you block, you can see every move with your peripheral vision, so you always gaze into his eyes. You don't look at his legs if he's trying to kick you, because that might be distraction for any upper attack, okay? So what you do, as you look at him, you gaze behind his back, as you spotted something, okay? I bet your ass in 90% he will look back, okay? Or he will do something. And that's your opening again. You do a little guess, and then boom! You go in with a simple combination of a two palm strikes delivered into the face. Okay, again guys. Now, technique. When it comes to palm strike, stance, the firing pin, this leg, or you bench it. It's just like that, okay? So you don't deliver the palm strike, just like that. There's nearly no range, no power, okay? So what you need to use that leg to turn your body in, to turn your body in, okay? So with a simple turn of this leg, you are able to deliver very, very powerful palm strike and create the opening for any follow-ups or make our chance just to clear. Because decision is yours, guys. All the techniques of a soup diffusion and deterrence right, leads to one decision. Fight or flight. It's either all in or all out. No half hours techniques because you're walking and you see he's bleeding. So you feel sorry for the coon and you say, yeah, that's enough. And you go away and he pulls a knife out of his pocket and it's boom into your goods. Okay, so if you decide on the all in, it's all in. Kill if you have to kill. Escape and clear. If there is only opening of the escaping, do not engage, guys. Because there is no ego in self-defense, okay? If I say I'm walking down the street and this fella passing by and he makes any aggressive move against me, if I'm able to just this and just keep walking, I will do so, okay? He's gonna drop, probably no one will notice. I'll just keep walking, I go home go to safety because it's not about my ego self-defense I'm not gonna finish him just because he had a bad intent to harm me no he's done and there is my way home okay so listen guys narrow it to your decision fight or flight quick assess if crowded place I might get away with it if on your own fight as fucking hell never flight you're only gonna die tires as the Vikings say okay Okay guys, so back to technique, back is explained, firing pin, deliver, and at the same time, you are not only do this firing movement, you move in as well, so you do, you support that with the all weight of your body, and it's not only one, they keep going and keep going and the elbows start to smash and whack, which we're gonna introduce at the later stage, okay? So, listen guys, we never go back in Krav Maga. It's always forward, okay? Because the most damage that you've seen in our presentation, we do from here, okay? So, any of our attack is just to close the distance, latch on the ice, and just do all the mad shit that we do in close distance. So it's not like you're gonna palm strike him and go back, okay? We are not boxer. We are not gonna dance around and play with him, okay? We're gonna deliver and either keep going or clear out. Okay? Now, that leads to the idea of a becoming an attacker in this situation. Believe me, guys, there's a big, big psychological switch for your attacker to being victimized just like that. In the most cases, he's gonna get paralyzed with the initial palm strike. Okay? and they're gonna create the opening for you to attack or clear. It's as easy as that, guys. Because there is no man in the world that can put a muscle on his nose that you're gonna strike hard 
or you're gonna strike into the chin or you're gonna go mental on his eyes listen guys with the palm strike you can easily stick those fingers a little bit and go fucking mental on the eyes you can beg him please please don't hurt me and boom walk him into the Adam's apple so there's a little simple shit that you can do from this position starting with latching on his eyes hammer hammer elbow or kill him with any neck attack and now guys last thing i want to say is remember one thing violence breeds violence so not ever and each time you have to engage and you have to be rude uh, for people sometimes by a simple smile and asking hey hey buddy what's the story how can i help you it could be enough because you never know okay so be ready to fight or flight but then assess the situation it might be just someone approaching you asking for a few quid so there's really no point to go all oh, banana selling assess the situation use this knowledge wisely try to practice those simple two palm strike okay in a quick succession if you want more just keep going keep going and if you want to keep going guys look again it's not wrong it's a movement from your stance okay so you are tight and you go like that look at my legs you deliver them you deliver them in a quick succession and then we're gonna join them into all the sweet elbow and the bits and pieces that we can do in a close distance okay so guys practice on each other grab one another siblings parents you know whoever you have do a little exercise with the range close and shorter put your hands up do a little scenarios of a one person being a bad guy the other one defending himself or herself then switch do it gently and just practice the palm strikes because these are going to be your basic basic weapons in any tricky situations okay guys so listen have a great day and um we're going to see you there on the next class with Preston have a great day